Evangeline Lilly, what a pleasure it is to meet you. You play Kate Austin on the incredibly successful Lost. You're doing very well for someone who didn't want to do acting in the first place. So are you enjoying your superstardom? Ah, well, first of all, well done on your, your uh, research. To know that off the bat is very impressive. Um, it's something that took a lot of getting used to. Um, after the first season of the show, I wanted to quit. Oh. Um, I, 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 it was too much. It was very overwhelming and something that I wasn't, um, I wasn't enjoying the the fanfare and the oh. public attention, and it was difficult. But I think over the years, I've gotten used to it, and I've found my groove, and I've found my space within it, and it gets easier. And um, I think it, it just becomes something that isn't quite so shocking. You know, it's not so abrupt anymore, and, and it becomes more normal, if that's even imaginable. In what ways do you think Kate Austin is similar to you? Um, in a lot of ways, I think that um, I've spent a lot of my life being relatively closed off um, to being vulnerable. I don't think that it's easy for me to be vulnerable to complete strangers or even to people who are close to me. Um, I think that takes a lot of time and, and so I related to Kate in that way. Um, but also I think it's been really fun to play the flip side of Kate, the Kate that's become a mom and the Kate that's softened and the Kate that is, um, I would say, more feminine and more womanly now than she used to be because when I started this show, um, I was a 24-year-old tomboy and <laughs> having a great time being a 24-year-old tomboy. Um, I turned 30 in August and... Happy birthday. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. It's a ways away yet, but um, that milestone's, you know, sort of in the foreground now. And it and it, I can feel how it's shifted me as a person. I can feel how the years that have passed have sort of rubbed away some of the harder edges and made me a bit softer. And um, so it, I, I feel like her arc has sort of followed my own personal arc. Wow, well said. The answer is no. Kate. I don't think you understand. No, you made yourself perfectly clear. Everyone on the island is going to die if I don't go back. And the answer is no. Why? Don't you care about them? Have you ever been in love, John? What? Think about you sometimes. I think about how desperate you were to stay on that island. And then I realized it was all because you didn't love anybody. Name three things you would like to have with you if you were ever lost. Um, <clears throat> can they be imaginary things? Yes, they can be. Okay, um, a laptop with unlimited amount of power. Okay. <laughs> um, with all my music on it. <laughs> um, a blanket. Okay. And unlimited water. Oh, wow. Awesome. And, that would uh, suffice. Actually, that sounds appealing. And uh, parlez-vous français? Oui, je parle français. Et toi aussi? Je parle un petit peu, mais quand je parle, je fais beaucoup de fautes, mais... Tu es incroyable, toi. Non, tu es incroyable. Non, tu parles <laughs> l'arabique, le français. Le coréen, le oui. vietnamien. Oh, mon Dieu. And can I... Do you know any Arabic by any chance? I wish I did. Okay, can I teach you something yes. in Arabic? Okay, I want you to say, hello, my name is Evangeline Lily. Okay. So it's marhaba. Marhaba. Anna Ismi. Anna Ismi. Evangeline Lily. Evangeline Lily. Can you say it? <laughs> say it again. Okay. Marhaba. Anna Ismi. Evangeline Lily. Marhaba. Anna Ismi. Evangeline Lily. Oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> Chapeau It's bas. such a beautiful language. We'll spend some time off camera. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Have you ever been to the Middle East? Um, no, it's one of the few pl few places in the world I haven't visited, and I would love to. Of course, it's somewhat intimidating. Um, I, I don't know where you'd begin. I don't know what sort of the places to go, and, and so you'll have to educate me on that as okay, well. I sure will. Yeah. I definitely will. would love to have you in Dubai. And uh, I host a weekly show called Show Me More. Okay. And I want to ask you, what do you want to have more of or see more of? Um, on TV. Or in your personal life or in your career? Oh. Um, I would like more uh, time to myself and I would like to be able to write more. That's my passion. Oh, wow. Yes. Interesting. And can you describe Lost in three words? Um, yes. Mysterious, heartfelt, spiritual. What are you doing here? Are you still going back to the island? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Then I'm going with you. Kate, what happened? 
Summers, Aaron. Don't Wait. ask questions. If you want me to go with you, you'll never ask me that question again. You will never ask me about Aaron. Do you understand, Jack? Yes. Thank you. What do you watch when you're chillaxing at home? I, uh, I watch independent film. Oh, really? I don't have, a t I don't have any TV, so... I read that. Yeah. That's so I watch independent films on my computer. <laughs> wow, you know, you're one of a kind, really. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, huh? Which part? Harley, Saeed being on the same plane. How did they end up here? They bought a ticket. You don't think it means something that somehow we're all back together? We're on the same plane, Jack. Does it make us together? <laughs>